Any morning that starts with a Pokemon Direct is a good morning. Casey, our Pokemon Master, what do you think about the Direct? My hype for Pokemon Sword and Shield is absolutely invigorated after seeing this Direct. They showed off so many surprising changes, and I am mostly here for them. Let's start with maybe the most surprising change, no random encounters. Yeah, like contrary to what we thought after seeing the reveal trailer, it looks like random encounters are gone for good. In this direct, they showed roaming Pokemon like a Rhydon walking through a sandstorm that can be approached for battle. Not only that, but you can encounter Pokemon in a slightly random way when wandering through tall grass or caves. You'll see an exclamation point pop up and you can approach it to engage a mystery Pokemon in battle. I'm honestly completely okay with that change, but the biggest new feature, and I mean that literally, Dynamax Pokemon. Using an item called the Dynamax band in certain areas, Pokemon can grow huge. With their embiggening, their moves also receive a max upgrade. The moves themselves are powered up versions of the moves your Pokemon already know. The catch is they only stay Dynamax for three turns. It seems to be that they're tracked by red clouds over the huge Pokemon's head, not completely confirmed, but the Pokemon can be Dynamaxed only once per battle. It seems like a boring combo of Mega Evolution and Z-moves, which is fine, but I am most excited for the free roaming camera in the wild. Specifically, this feature is limited to something called the Wild Area, an expansive natural area in the Gala region that connects different towns. I think we've been able to pinpoint what this area might be, and if we're right, we may be able to access it rather early on in the game. Which is awesome. And the Pokemon that appear will be based on location and weather, kind of similar to Pokemon Go, so the Pokemon you encounter may change every time you visit since the weather changes every day. All also based on what we saw, is potential for it to be a larger multiplayer area based on how players approach a thing called the Max Raid Battlestone. Which brings us to... Max Raid Battles. These can be initiated in the wild area. In the distance, you'll be able to see red beams marking a Max Raid location. These raid battles put up to four trainers against a Dynamax Pokemon, but the catch is that it remains Dynamax for the entire battle and has special abilities. Only one of the four trainers can Dynamax their Pokemon, which is a nice way to add a bit more strategy to these battles. If the Pokemon is defeated, your group has a chance to catch the Dynamax Pokemon. Some Pokemon can only be caught through Dynamax raid battles, so they're probably worth checking out. As far as surprising things go, those were on the top of the list. Not surprising at all, on the other hand, is the release date. Like many Pokemon games before it, Pokemon Sword and Shield were released on November 15th of this year. There were so many other things announced too, like new Pokemon, characters, even the legendaries that kind of look a little bit like Digimon, uh, but that's a whole nother discussion for another day. Yeah. <laughs> for more on Pokemon, catch our breakdown of everything we learned on IGN and in the Pokemon Sword and Shield wiki. Thanks for watching, keep it here on IGN. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. stand right there for the whole thing. Just like slowly keep holding it up. Just like... <laughs> you don't have to, you can put it in the chair. And oh wheel, yeah, wheel the chair that's true. Or, or Thank you, you can stand there. <laughs> it's super creepy. It's that's pretty much <laughs> This is like, the, his face is like the aura they have. Oh yeah. And he's representing that. <laughs>